Hello friends I'm Papa Joe and welcome to a new Call of Duty Mobile video on my channel. A few hours ago I already updated you on the latest information about the upcoming Season 7 and in this video we take a look at all the leaks so far as well as more information about the new Battle Pass for Season 8 Train to Nowhere. Be sure you're subscribed to me and have the bell activated for daily COD Mobile content. As always, let's jump right into the video. We'll start the video with basic information about the next season in Call of Duty Mobile and then throw on a new Season 8 weapons. As we already know from some teasers released in the past hours, the new Season 8 called Train to Nowhere will be released on September 7th at 5pm Pacific Time and comes with new crates, lucky draws, a new event, new battle pass and much more. Several weeks ago the test server for Season 7 and 8 of Call of Duty Mobile was released in which new weapons were discovered that will now be added to the new season. The new ZRG 20mm sniper rifle is a cylinder breech sniper rifle and came to Call of Duty War Zone as the last new weapon of Season 2 of Black Ops Cold War. The ZRG 20mm doesn't appeal to everyone because it's slow, but one hit is enough to take down an enemy. But the most interesting is the new melee weapon which was also in the test server, confirmed and now released in Season 8, the Butterfly Knife which is a deadly flip action blade that can be quickly armed and concealed. Feel free to write me in the comments which of the mentioned weapons you are looking forward to. Already teased a few days ago by Call of Duty Mobile is the new multiplayer map called Express Map which has already been discovered in the in-game files, confirmed by COD Mobile and will now be released in the upcoming season. Express takes place at a high-speed rail transit center where operators battle inside the terminal and out over the tracks. Its half-circle layout features tight corridors and plentiful long shots. Feel free to write me in the comments if you like the new multiplayer map or not. As with every season, a new featured event is released based on the theme of the season, and so in Season 8, we can expect the Spy Hunt event in which we collect clues that we get in multiplayer and battle royale. We then have to use these clues to intercept enemy information. We can expect rewards like the Epic Lurk Gumshoe character, the GKS Claw and the Servant of Doom Charm. Furthermore, Season 8 will see the release of new seasonal challenges which offer new weapon builds operator skins and up to 30,000 battle pass XP. In this season, a new perk called Spycraft can be unlocked as well as the butterfly knife which has already been discovered in the test server. Besides the Epic Templar Royal Knights character skin which will return with a mythic skin for the AS Val called Double Edge in Season 8, we can expect other notable character skins like the new The Director character in his default uniform, a brand new Tempest character as well as the new legendary Sophia Errant Knight character skin. And in these lucky draws come very good legendary weapon skins like the new legendary skin for the Kilo 141 a new legendary PPSH-41 skin, a legendary skin for the new butterfly as well as a legendary ZRG 20mm skin. Personally, I'm really looking forward to the new legendary character skin and feel free to post your thoughts on it in the comments. And in the new battle pass of the upcoming season 8 we can expect brand new character skins like Seraph in her double agent uniform, the Epic Adler Dapper character skin. Vanguard in her nocturnal elite uniform and a new Misty character skin in her undercover uniform. I personally like the new character skins and can't wait until they are revealed. However, the new weapon skins in the new battle pass are not that good in my opinion. We will get skins for the following weapons ZRG 20mm, M13, S36, M4 and for the CBR4 by purchasing the Season 8 battle pass. However, Write me your opinion about the Battle Pass rewards in the comment section. Otherwise I am happy about every positive comment and support from you. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, 
give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.